There's a fan on here that wants to know what it was like on the road with JBL and Ron Simmons when you traveled with them. Oh, we're yeah, absolutely great to uh, ride with Ron and John. Uh, I I love that because they knew I was cheap, so I really never had to really pay for that. You know, I attempt to pay, but you know, like we, you know, we get to this tow booth, and I'd be reaching, you know, like I'm looking for the money, but I know you can't just stand there at the tow booth. You know, you can hold up all the traffic, so I just stop around until somebody in the car paid, you know, because I know we had to go on through the booth. So then I told them I'd just catch them, you know, later. I'd give it to them. So, but they did a lot of stuff to me too, you know, so, but they, they were fun. It was great. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard the story about the time I left Run in the snow. Uh, we uh, we had Godfather, it was me, Godfather, JBL, uh, Run. We were all in the car and uh, we're on our way to Albany, New York. So it starts snowing, man. I mean, it's coming down. So we end up getting a case of beer, you know, because that was a ride back in the day. You know, you get a case of beer and hit the road. And uh, so, you know, once you, you know, start drinking beer, you know, everybody got to, you know, go to the John. And so, you know, a lot of times you couldn't wait to find the bathroom because, you know, up there around New York, you know, the exits are so far apart. So I pull over to the side so everybody gets out, you know, and use the bathroom. It's kind of dark, like it's really not day, so you can kind of get away with it. So everybody, I got out, everybody got back, I got back in the car, I was driving, so, you know, I wasn't really paying much attention. I thought everybody was in the car. So uh, I see, I think Godfather made, no, J John, he, JBL, he was the last one, he got in the car. So he gets in the car, I shut the door and I drive off. So he looks at me and asks me, what am I doing? I said, we're going to New York. What are you talking about? Then he tells me that I left run back then in the snow. So there's, I couldn't find no exit. So I had went almost a half a mile. So I had to get back on the shoulder and I had to bag all the way up at least a half a mile to go back to pick him up. And uh, when I did get back there, he was just like a snowman. He's covered in snow. And he said to me, damn. And that was before that he ever started using the word damn on TV. But he said, damn, long. <laughs> that was his words. And as far as JBL's, uh, the rumors out there that he was a backstage bully, did you witness any of that? Obviously, it was usually directed at the young wrestlers, so I don't think he would have tried anything with you. JBL was never, that, 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 that's not true. He didn't never bully anybody, you know what I mean? John was just a, a, a funny guy. He just liked to have a lot of fun. And sometimes, you know, maybe he might rub you the wrong way or he might say something, you know, that some people take it a different way. But John, I mean, God, you couldn't find a nicer guy, man. So I don't think it was no bullying there. Some people took it that way, you know what I mean? And just said, well, you know, I don't know this guy's so big, you know, he's just bullying me, making me, you know, just talking to me any kind of way. But there were a lot of guys, you know, that you talked to any kind of way that kind of needed that, you know what I mean? Because they come into our business and they just, you know, want to take over and just, you know, do whatever they wanted to do. And it didn't work like that. You know, everybody there, you know, they paid their dues. People worked hard to try to make it to the top and to get where they were. And then you got some guy walk in the door and think it's just going to be, you know, you just going to spread over everybody. So it's, it's a little bit of, you know, it's what we call respect. And that's on any job. That's on you too, Devin. I mean, you say some guy just came on your show and completely took over, just disrespected you. You wouldn't put up with that. So it's just a lot of things, you know, a lot of people, they get mad because they can't have it their way or they didn't have it their way. And then they want to say the guy was a bully and all that. But I never seen him bully anybody. All I seen him stand up and just talk to people pretty rough. But he talked to me rough. Who didn't care? I mean, we, we was all joking. It was all in fun. I in Albany, in New York again. Uh, and that's when, uh, you know, Ron and John, they were doing the APA. And... Uh, so I think we were in this bar. I believe it was a Holiday Inn. I believe we were in this bar. And, uh, you know, John and Ron, you know, they're being they're doing their usual. You know, there wasn't no APA. You know, they just liked to drink at the time. You know, they drank. So they were drinking. I was sitting there, you know, and so we were drinking, eating. So some guy comes over and he sees him. And so he starts wanting to buy him drinks. You know what I mean? And he he, he really uh, challenged John. He told John that he could out drink him. You know, I could out drink, I could drink way more tequila than you and something. So uh, that was uh, pretty bad. He shouldn't have never done that. So he ended up buying all these drinks, man. And so they drank him right under the table. And uh, he drank so much till he passed out. And he had his girlfriend with him. And so some guy that was sitting over at another table just 
he came over, took the guy's girlfriend, took her on with him, and this guy was passed out, but sitting there trying to outdrink John and Ron. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.